it's very good to be able to say that our fellow citizens are free after enduring something that I think it would be difficult for any of us to imagine. That's U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken celebrating an American victory today. Five Americans who had been imprisoned in Iran have been freed after being designated as wrongfully detained by the Biden administration. So they were freed as part of a wider deal, though, that includes the U.S. unfreezing $6 billion in Iranian funds and more. Here's Sinclair's chief political correspondent who shows us why this deal is so controversial. Overseas, five Americans previously imprisoned in Iran now freed, but at a cost. A swap involving five Iranians and America is unfreezing $6 billion Iran can use for humanitarian aid like food and medicine. I think a lot of people and some people intentionally uh, mischaracterize the words that we are giving the Iranians $6 billion. But again, we all have to keep in mind that as, as repugnant, as abhorrent their actions are, at the end of the day, it's their own money. And money the U.S. State Department assures won't be used for nefarious purposes, but reason for skepticism. Even though under this deal, the money is only supposed to be used for humanitarian goods and the countries are supposedly going to be able to have some oversight to that, Iranian officials have already said very publicly, we're going to use this money for whatever we want. And trust is minimal that a foe whose leaders and citizens have chanted death to America won't be encouraged to take more America in light of this latest deal. The second thing is how do we stop this cycle? Because every time we do this, it further incentivizes the next round of kidnapping of dual nationals. Back to that money issue. Experts tell me the worry is this $6 billion could be designated for humanitarian aid, but that just frees up Iran to use other money in ways that could make the world less safe. Still, the State Department has said complex deals aren't always without downsides. Iran is not going to release these American citizens out of the goodness of their heart. That is not real life. That is not how this works. That was never going to happen. An unseemly trade-off, they say, just the cost of doing business, even if that price tag is in the billions. In Washington, I'm Scott Thuman.